Whether you're retiring or moving to another school district, you can take your Google files with you. Google Takeout and Google Transfer are quick and easy ways to save all of your files that you've worked so hard to create. Let's explore together if Google Takeout or Google Transfer is best for you. First, before we dive into the details, we need to know why we would even use transfer or takeout. So basically you want to keep data from a Google account because you are maybe a teacher retiring, you've taken another job in another district, or you just want to create a file backup. Or you may be a student that just graduated, or you're moving into another school district as a transfer student, or you just want a file backup. So whether you're a teacher or a student, you can use Google Transfer or Google Takeout to save those files. So the main difference between Google Takeout and Google Transfer is the end product. They both start from a Google account and we're trying to get the data out of that account. So if you decide to use Google Takeout, it's going to download all the data from your Google account that you selected during the setup process, and it's going to put it into one downloadable zip file. Whereas Google Transfer is going to take your original Google account and it's going to transfer it over to another second account. And you might be thinking, why would I just transfer it over to another second account? Can I just keep my original account? No, not always. So once you're no longer employed by a school or you're no longer a student there at that specific school, they're more than likely going to deactivate or delete your account. So you want to get all that information out of there before they deactivate or before they delete your account. So the easiest way to do that is to just transfer it to another Google account. So in other words, Google Takeout is downloading files and it's going to give you this downloadable zip file, which then you can put on a USB drive. You can put it on your computer. You can put it on another Google account. You'd have to upload it into another Google account. Whereas Google Transfer, transfers ownership of the files. So going from your original Google account, transferring the ownership to another Google account without having to manually re-upload all of the files again. Let's take a look at a Venn diagram comparing the two and see which one would be best for you. So we already know that Google Takeout is going to create a downloadable zip file for us. And we know that Google Transfer is going to transfer our Google account to a second Google account. So let's take a look at how these two options are the same first. First of all, it's good to note that the original Google account files, they will still live there. They do not get deleted in this download or in this transfer. The original Google account files will stay on that account until it is deactivated or deleted. So just because you use Google Takeout to download a zip file, doesn't mean that you're deleting your account. And same thing with Google Transfer. If you transfer that account out, it's like it's making a copy of it and that original account will still be there. One other note I should make about this is once you've downloaded that zip file or once you have triggered the transfer to the second account, if you make any changes to that original Google account, they're not going to be reflected in that downloadable zip file. And they're also not going to continue to transfer to that second Google account. So if you make any changes after you've done the transfer or the takeout in your original Google account, then you also need to make the changes in that second Google account or do another takeout so you get the updates on that file. The main aim to these two services is to allow you to have access to your files in the event that your account is deactivated or deleted. So they share that commonality. That's the purpose of both of them. They just do it differently uh, with different options. So that's what we're looking at today. Uh, both options are safe encrypted methods to download or to transfer files. Now let's look at the two individually. So I'm going to jump over to Google Transfer because this note must be made before we jump into these other differences. So Google Transfer you must have a G Suite for education account to do Google Transfer. You will not be able to use a regular Google account 
to do Google transfer. So it must be a G Suite for education account. And it also must be allowed in the G Suite for education admin settings. So this means if you get an error message that this is not enabled for your district or for this account, you can talk to your IT department uh, to get that enabled for you. Continuing to talk about Google transfer, files stay within the Google ecosystem. So they really seamlessly move from one Google account to another Google account, just transferring that ownership. And Google Docs stay as Google Docs. And all of your edits and your formatting uh, stick with that document. So that's a really seamless transfer when it's able to stay in that Google ecosystem. And we've been talking about needing that second Google account. So that shouldn't be a surprise, but uh, you do need a second Google account. So if you need one of those, you don't have a Google account, you can just sign up uh, for an additional Google account. And just personal Google accounts, those are free to set up. When we look at Google Takeout, the files are exported to be compatible with other software, but they're no longer Google-specific documents. One thing that's really cool with Google Takeout is it can be set to export on a time schedule to create regular backups of files. So you can either use Google Takeout to do one export, or it will do six exports throughout the year. So one every other month. So you get to choose the frequency when you use Google Takeout. So it doesn't have to just be a one-time takeout. You can get a takeout, a backup, every other month for a year. So that's a main difference. Google Takeout, you can set to do again and again to create those backups. Google Transfer, you're probably only doing once when you're ready to be done with that first original account and you'd like to move ownership to a second account that you manage versus the school managing it for you. The last difference is a big difference as well. We'll start with Google Transfer. Google Transfer will transfer over emails and Drive files. So this means Gmail and Drive, and then inside of Drive, we've got Docs, Sheets, Slides, Forms, and Google Classroom. So it's not going to transfer over all of the Google services like Google Takeout can do. So Google Takeout can do a variety of Google services that it can download for you, uh, and you get to choose which services you want it to be downloading in your backup file. So that is a big difference. Google Transfer is only going to do emails and Drive files, whereas Google Takeout is going to do a variety of Google services. Now you might be thinking, well, I wanna do both. And that's fine too. There are plenty of teachers that will do a Google transfer to get their emails and their drive files over to a second backed up account, Google account. And then they will also go over and get a downloadable zip file from Google Takeout uh, to get that other information. So that's perfectly fine, you can do both. All right, so once you've decided which one you're going to do, if you're going to use Google Takeout, then you're going to go to takeout.google.com. If you would like to do the Google transfer, then you're going to go to takeout.google.com slash transfer. So let's do a quick overview of what it would look like to do a Google Takeout. So takeout.google.com will bring you to this screen. And from here, you're able to select which data you would like to include in the data backup, so in that downloadable file. And you can see what I was saying about having a lot of different options uh, to get data from. So if I have these checked, that means that it's going to pull data from my Google account and it's going to include it in the download file. So I'm just scrolling through here. I'm just gonna keep them all checked. The other thing that I will note too, is that you also can select individual files. So if I go up to my drive, I should have did this when I went past him, but all drive data is included. If I go to click on this, I can select any specific folders that I want to include in the download. So if I don't need specific folders that are currently checked, I can just uncheck those 
and then they will not be included in the download. So you do have options with Google Takeout to get very granular if you want to. And of course, each application will have its own options. Okay, so I'm gonna scroll back through these quickly and we're gonna go to the next step. And this is where I'm gonna to choose to send the download link via email. Now you can have it added to Drive, Dropbox, OneDrive, or Box as an option. I'm just going to choose download link via email. And then I can select my frequency and I have the option of exporting it once or I can export it every two months for one year, giving me six exports. I can select the file type, keep it as a zip, probably the most compatible. You will have to unzip that file once it gets to your computer. If it has that zipper on it, you know that it's zipped. Uh, and another note too, if you are bringing it into another Google account, so you are uploading it into a Google account, you're going to need to unzip those files, those folders, before you bring it into the Google account. Uh, so zip is probably the most common uh, to select there. And then you can choose the file size, how uh, big you want those file sizes to be, to be split into. So it says exports larger than this size will be split into multiple files. So then from there, I would create the export. And when it's finished, I will get an email with all of my files. And I just download the files from that link. So that's a really quick look at Google Takeout. Let's go over and take a look at Google Transfer. So now we are at takeout.google.com slash transfer. And remembering that this is for school accounts, if you get an error message when you go to this, that means that it needs to be enabled uh, from your school administrator who runs your Google G Suite. So talk with them if you want to be able to use the transfer option um, for your school account. So I'm just going to type in here a destination. And this would be the email of your second Google account. So this is not your school email. This is your second Google account email. This is the destination account. I'm going to send a code. It's going to send a code to this email. And the reason that it does that is so it can verify that you have access to the email. And once I have that code, I can type it in. So it's just a one-time code to verify that you have access to the email that you're trying to send all of the files to, right? They have to verify that that is yours. Someone can't just come in and do this Google transfer to their email without verifying that they have access to that email. So I'm going to say verify. It now is telling me that it is going to come over from my school account to my personal account. And then it's going to ask me, do I want to bring all of my drive files over? And do I want to bring all of my Gmail files over? If I don't want Gmail, that's fine. I can just uncheck it and start the transfer. If I want both, just keep them both checked. Once I say start transfer, then it will begin doing that action and it can take up to a week for it to be fully transferred from your school account over to that second personal Google account. Once the transfer is complete, in Gmail, you will see any emails that came through on your education account labeled with your education account. So they will keep those separated with a label. And in Google Drive, you will see a new file folder labeled with your school account name that has all of those files and folders from your education account. Now, in that second Google account that you created. Google. I hope this video helped explain the difference between Google Transfer and Google Takeout, and it got your files either downloaded or transferred, or both. So if you receive value from this video, please like and subscribe to my channel where I post about all things ed tech for teachers and ed coaches. Get ready to check out the next video that was created to support teachers using technology in the classroom.